Humanitarian, political, economic, and environmental catastrophe with global ramifications for decades. It would change our world. Well, TRT World's Tatiana Anderson is following that meeting, and she joins us now live from Washington. Tatiana. Andrea, you know what's happening here Thursday and Friday really comes out of what happened in Prague back in 2009 when President Obama said that nuclear security was critical. And I want to bring in a very special guest for us to talk about that. I'm with Miles Pomper. He's an expert in all things nuclear. He's with the James Martin Center for Nonproliferation. And I want to ask you about this communique that we're expecting to see. Can you give us a sense of what might be in it and what it really means for the path going forward? Well, I would say actually at this summit, the communique is not really the most important achievement we're going to see. What's really important uh, is the fact that a number of countries have uh, pushed past the barrier to get a, an important treaty into force. Uh, that's the amended convention on the physical protection of nuclear material. And what that does is it takes rules that only apply to the small portion of materials when they were being shipped internationally and says the countries have to abide by rules when they're in their own countries. So that is an important cornerstone for a real nuclear security regime. But this is not this uh, treaty that was signed by 102 nations that prevents uh, nuclear material from getting into the hands of terrorists? It prevents, it's good at some elements of it, but it's not every element of all materials. Uh, for one thing, it doesn't do anything about the materials that could be used in dirty bombs, the kind of radiological materials uh, that are used in medicine and industry. Uh, and we've been worried about, for instance, in Iraq and Syria falling into the hands of ISIS. So this is really a legacy issue for President Obama. He's talked about nuclear security since the time he took office. Do you think that he's gotten what he's expected to get out of these summits? And, and has he been aggressive enough? I personally think he should have been more aggressive. I think he's, he deserves a lot of credit for initiating this process, bringing all these leaders together. We never would have got the progress we've achieved without him doing that. But there's a lot more that still needs to be done than that he could have done. Miles Pomper, thank you very much thank for you. joining us. Well, of course, nuclear security is a key issue here at the summit. The leaders here pretty much agree that it's the greatest threat to global security. So, Andrea, it'll be very interesting to see how this process moves forward when there are no more summits in the days, weeks, and months ahead. Thank you for that, Tatiana. Live from Washington, D.C.